Otherwise, you don't even work your social that? media like that. Every time you somebody just, come, we got to fucking fuss, bro. Every time. Every fucking time. You know That's gonna not what we're going to do. We're going to go back. I'm not we're gonna doing that. commercial break. When we get back, we're going to wrap this up. So you want to you wanna cut me off, right? Corey, you just going to watch your butt, baby. You do this shit every time. Oh, yeah. Wait. Wait. No, please. That shit that I knew when bitch was having a seizure, and that shit ain't go right. You, you know what I'm about? I thought she was wrong, nigga. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. Look, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call you back. I'm just, I'm gonna call you back. Get the truck, let's go. 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 let us go People with the cheap shirts and shit that shit that say melanin magic and all that, Popeyes not stopping your business. You are. Okay? So to you people that's using Popeyes excuse for your business, not to get a head shame on you. Nobody been nobody been buying a melon. Whoa! Welcome to Couch Talk Nola. You heard it. We got Mo Diddy in the building. Let's just get that Finally. out. Finally! Yes, it's good that I'm doing here. We don't address that. nothing else. Just the Finally. Mo Diddy episode. You feel me? I'm fucking with that. Man, how, how you feeling, bro? Uh, man, look, I, it, like I said, it's long overdue. Yeah. I appreciate y'all having me. You heard me? Uh, Hey, mama, I'm on motherfucking couch talk, you hear me? Hey, yeah. mama. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Put some respect on that. That's all I'm saying. Shit, they all right. because... You don't play about your fucking mom. You know I don't play by my mama. You you came up mm. with the, in the ribbons, mm. you know, you era. Know, and that, 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 that mama part was out. Bitch, you play my mama, bitch, we gotta fight. <laughs> they know I don't play them your mama jokes, <laughs> none of that shit, you hear me? Man. Now where y'all been all my life, man? Man, you supposed to, you supposed to been on, over here. Fuck, we tried to come by you. Man, can I say I'm sorry? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bring that shit to the public man. college. Man, yeah, Lee. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you And I felt out. bad too, bro. Nah, nah, let me get this out the way. I felt fucking bad, Let me just get this out the way. I was out, I'm a black man. That was before Corona. <laughs> yeah, before I was out Corona. there with a hoodie on at 6 in the morning, knocking on the door. Mm. I was trying to figure out the passcode and everything to get in there. But I said, the light, he was touching shit. I he see. looked like an old age train I see he got the light on and in there. And you left him out there. <laughs> <laughs> you pushing the buttons in there. I said, the light on in there. <laughs> Look how he was. No, he was looking like he was looking for his baby mama. But the light on, I see you all. You left him. We're, I felt bad, man. Looking at the feed and shit, oh, you better not. Be better <laughs> look, let me tell you, look, man. She ain't talked to me for like three years. You know what I mean? It was probably like three months. How long it was? She, 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 she let me, she let me have it. You know what I mean? Well, hell, she came back around. For, I came back around. Shit. <laughs> You know that's my people though, and I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all know I've been supporting Couch Talk. No, that's why I wanted to get y'all on the motherfucking show in the first place. Oh, we coming, cause we woke up early. Mm. Yes, know. indeed, man. The only thing happened, he got Chick Fil A. I oh, know that's the only thing that cooled me down. See, that Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A. Chick -fil -A. Hey, man. Hey, Chick Fil A. What you be getting at Chick Fil A though? That was your first time. That was my time first time going to Chick Fil A. She had to bring me there after that. The hell are you say? Mm -hmm. Man, let me tell you something. What you be getting at Chick Fil A? The um. The chicken, the grilled chicken sandwich. Man, look. With the egg whites. Man, look, they got these little mini chicken. Oh, that ain't with the, Man, look, with the, I don't know what they do to it. You hear me? Man, I be getting like 20 of them. What, what <laughs> they Knocking call? them down. What is it called? I, I'm, I'm the a, little I'm chicken a, minis. The, the breakfast yep, chicken minis. Yep. Yeah, I don't know nothing about See, that. See, you, you got mm. it. I don't know nothing. See, you don't know, baby. Yes, yes. I don't know nothing about that, man. Man, it's look, they did. It's only available at breakfast time. I want to know something. How the hell did you become a radio personality? How, how did you do that? Did it, did it choose you or did you choose it? Kind of like both. Mm. You heard me? Cause mm. like, um, all right, so, you know, uh, shout out to Zoe, man, Zoe with the flow. Mm -hmm. You heard me? That's my fucking dog. Uh, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I had kind of like, uh, put a few things in play for him, like as far as like getting, Getting like an interview and whoop, whoop, this, that, and the third, and I ended up booking him an interview at 102.3. Wow. <coughs> and uh, and so me, I'm in like promo mode when I'm there with them. You know, I'm just, if they ask me anything, I'm letting you know when this shit coming out, you know what I'm saying, where to get it, you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Ooh, I'm just on some, like you, on some marketing type shit. Right. So, uh, but like I said, I was just playing the cut. 
And dude that told me come to the mic, you know, Zoe had a good uh, interview. Mm -hmm. And dude told me come to the mic, and I just ran it. And he was like, yo, after the thing, he was like, yo, you, fuck, you built for this. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, and then one day, like, uh, it, it wasn't even too much longer than that. Uh, a couple, like, probably a couple weeks, I got a call at, like, um, it wasn't even 6 a.m. yet. Mm -hmm. And dude was like, um, hey, my, my, dude canceled on me. Right. You want to come through? Wow. And ever since that day, you heard me, I had kind of, you know, he kept me on. Yeah, so. That's how it came, pretty much came together? Yeah, I'm a dog with this shit. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I, I definitely. You, you, you also, I right, man. Yeah, I do, I do mm -hmm. everything. Right. Like, see, like, I'm going to tell you something. My, um, my mama did that to me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I was younger, she used to, like, uh, she will be like, boy, you know, she, once she told me I was cute. Mm -hmm. All her friends tell me I'm, I'm the cutest thing, so I started believing in shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like they will tell me, oh you, but you could be on TV or you do. Mm -hmm. I started believing in shit. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What? No. So, so what particular part did Big Joe play in your life? Oh man, Big Joe? Yes. That's my fucking dog. Yeah. Uh, damn, you caught me by surprise with that <laughs> shit, man. That, Oh no, yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, that's my brother. Mm -hmm. You heard me? Uh, I just donated, I mean, I said donated, I just dedicated last show to him. You know, it's been a year since he passed. Correct. And, uh, he was a twin, huh? Yeah, yeah, well, that's what we call them. Mm. They were born on the same day, mm -hmm. but they weren't, like, biologically twin. Mm -hmm. But either way, it go, uh, shout out to Seth, man, that's my brother, yeah, too. I, I love him to death. You heard me? Uh, th these are people who like know me outside of all this shit. Like you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So me and uh, Joe, Joe was the type of cat who like literally uh, had to get me out the streets on type like mentally. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like he'll sit me down. We he was like a therapist. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Joe's super smart man, educated, got a degree on his belt. I'm telling you, Joe the type of cat, bro. I'm gonna tell you how cold Joe is. God rest his soul, man. I miss my, I, not a day go by, I don't think about Joe, man. You fucked me up with that one. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm like, this, he pull up at the crib, you heard me? Got a big jug of water. <laughs> you did? A bit fasting. Mm. Just because he, he challenging himself. Mentally? Like, yeah, mentally, like, uh -huh. come on. Like, that shit right there, bro. I was like, just shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Man, I love Joe, man. I miss Joe, man. Oh, I just like to take a moment of silence for Joe. Yeah, you know, oh God, like, I appreciate that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it now. All right. All right. Man, thank y'all, man. Yeah, no problem. All right, I want to see what exactly you meant by saying that God placed you in a position to help and give others opportunities. Man, speak on this, sir. Yeah, see, like, so, uh, when when I was coming up, you mm -hmm. heard me, like, um, I got into a lot of trouble. So, like, I had people wash their hands of me left and right, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I get it, I have, I did that, I don't, I'm not saying it, like, they wronged me, like, I, I put that on myself, like, mm -hmm. I was cutting up. Um, I ended up living. Going to jail, didn't you? I, yeah, I, and it wasn't nothing I didn't do, you know what I'm saying? Out the county. Yeah, so, so, so I ended up, um, one of them boys. I was slick homeless. <laughs> yeah, so I was living at the Covenant house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, um, My cousin got put out there, bitch. Uh, mine too, I had a cousin that got put out there. Yeah. That's probably my cousin, they probably my cousin. Right. Right. So, I think she ain't see herself stealing. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> you can't be stealing shit out that house. I uh no hell no. But see, hell no. at the end of the day, man, like even even when I was at the Covenant House, mm -hmm. right, man, like everybody would um latch on to me. You heard me? It's like um <coughs> I don't know. I just um I had like built this love for like service work and sh you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Like just being able to like at the end of the day, man, people take. A lot of shit for granted, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, like, you'll be at the cuff, and, like, uh, man, the smallest shit will make your day, you heard me? And mm -hmm. so, like, I had, it was like some, you know, I always told myself, man, if I get in a position, fuck, like, I ain't, like I said, I don't trip, I give certain people cash here and there, mm -hmm. but fuck all that, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I be really trying to help people, like, get a job and, like, 
you know, I, that's why that's my whole point of like creating another platform yeah. and shit like that. Like they say, you say you give a man a fish, right? Come on now. You teach a man how to fish, mm -hmm. yeah. He be all you that fucking Bible. fish fry and shit, frying that shit up. Come on now. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's shit's in the Bible. Each one teach one. You know. I think that's just important. I was talking about this shit on the show this morning. I was talking about y'all. Mm -hmm. um, but that's like one of the main things I want to do, bro. Like, I want, uh, you know, shout out Nipsey, man. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm, see, I'm still hurt. That's see, but, see, Joe put me on Nipsey, like, before all it, like, listen. Before this, all the shit yeah, that like, came about. He was showing me the shit that Nip was doing with the, mm -hmm. with the uh, math and science buildings and the computers mm -hmm. building that hub. And so, like, that's kind of like a vision I have, and that's something that I'm going to do. Listen, before it's all said and done, I ain't even going to say four or five years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say, I ain't going to put no time limit on it like that. Uh, we, Nola Nation going to have a center for the youth. I don't care if you want to record a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do a podcast, you heard me, if you want to shoot a music video. Whatever it is you want to do entertainment-wise, like, I'm going to have you the most five, the best equipment. You heard me? Um... And just a place to be safe and you know and and go in. You ain't gotta pay for no studio time, nothing like that. Oh, that's dope. I'm trying. I mean, I'm do just, everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to just uh, put some, you know, put that shit in the wind, put that in the atmosphere, man. We how, need that shit out here. How important do you feel your voice is to the community and our youth today? Uh, man, that's a good question. Um, uh, I think honestly, to be honest, I think uh. Sometimes people don't even realize the power that they have in their right. voice. So, um, yeah, that's 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 a good question because at the end of the day, I um, I, I kind of I see people wear a whole weight. You it's know what so I'm saying? The power right. of the tonic is real. It's powerful. I was talking about this. It's crazy. I was talking about this shit on the show <laughs> uh, with Future. You know, mm -hmm. he uh, he came out with a. Now I don't know what he really doing his personal life. Mm -hmm. You heard me, but like he went from uh, that, you know, that album Pluto, and oh, she yeah. was dope to me. Mm -hmm. Then it started getting. Get so. Dang, so that was like his first, one of his first projects, like his album or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, it started getting to like Dirty Sprite, <coughs> Molly World, and I, it was like Buku, like uh, drug infused music. And I ain't tripping <laughs> on that, do your thing. Yeah. But like his single was Molly Percocet. And he in a fucking interview, and he tell the people, he's like, oh, I don't get high like that. I just do that shit because it sell. Now, that right there, that shit, like, hey, it, that shit fuck with me because it's like, man, you, you don't even realize. You influence like, it. Yeah, like, there. your voice, like, people don't, that's why it brought me back to what you said because that's why I fuck with y'all. You heard me? Because, like, sometimes people, they, see, they so fucking stuck on having to fit in or mm -hmm. they, they worry about, I ain't, I, listen, I'm not gonna say I don't care what people think, but I don't care what people think enough to to change my opinion or mm -hmm. to make me feel some type of way. Like at the end of the day, um, you know, man, look, uh, when 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 I the other day on the rundown, my show that come on Friday evening, and 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe you started. What influenced you to start that that um, at that particular time? Cause you woke up early. Yeah, see, I so wait, had, you got you got you got a secondary show too. Yeah, I got two shows on Friday. I got the Friday, you know, I got the um, cause I wanted Nola to. Nola Nation. Yeah, Nola Nation yeah, yeah, live Nola on one hundred two point three. Yeah, and come in the morning, uh, and then and I have. Before Jesus, wake up. I you, know. you believe that? <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> and I be cutting up early so on this shit. I'm like, where you got this energy from? Man, look. That <laughs> might be the military. It, man, like that's part of it. You heard me. I, I ain't gonna lie though, like, when, talking about like the rundown, uh, I just, I had an opportunity to, to um, interview Kid Kid, right? I right. saw that so, y'all don't that like nut? That. So, uh, yeah, shout out Kid Kid. Hey, you heard, y'all heard that 2014 Maison Street? If y'all ain't got that project, you talking about that man, project that yeah, just dropped? Man, just dropped. Yeah, I heard a little bit Listen, of that bitch. I'm fucking with that. You put that bitch in and let it run, dog. Hey, kid, I see you. Man, I'm talking about, yeah, uh, like shit. one thing about it is like, uh, I've been fucking with Nut since, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Squad up shit. For real, for real. Yeah. And so just to see him where he at now, he done went through the young money phase, he went through the 50 phase, and, and now he doing that real in there shit for real, for real. And mm -hmm. like, uh, and for me to, you know, they, re they reached out to me. 
You mm -hmm. heard me? Um, That's love. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, shout out Danny, you heard me? Uh, right. Uh, but anyway, uh, he asked me if I want to interview him. Whoop, this, that, and the third. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. So not only did I do that, like I said, well, you know, I'm not just going to do it one time. Like, I'm going to keep this shit going. And uh, I reached out to Clutch Williams. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I was like, yeah, it's big. And, and he, listen, let me tell you something. He just dropped a, pri a movie. But see, see what... See what I'm talking about? Like, I'm trying to just connect people and my listeners to like, man, I had fucking Donkey. You I know, know I saw that with Boosie. Uh, man, girl, come yeah. on, man. I, I saw that. I tell you what, hold that thought. We're going to take a brief. Time for a break already. We just we got here. We're going to take a brief. What, what time flies when we get into some shit now? Yeah, Let's just get man. that out the way. So we be right back. We're going to take a brief intermission. Can't shoot it. I'm going to be positive. That's all I'm saying. Fuck that. <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> shit. Uh, what's poppin', baby? Mo Diddy capping at Crescent City. Shout out to everybody who's been rocking with the Nola Nation thus far. And we taking over. It's official. The tech just cleared. Nola Nation in the building. And damn it, we here, man. Cut up. Watch me work, man. Y'all can stop saying ain't no platforms in New Orleans. That's right. We showcasing the hottest talent in the city. Not to mention the most exclusive interviews. I'm talking behind the scenes, up close and personal. Stop playing, man. We breaking all this. I don't know about what them other cats doing, but around here, we really plugged in. You better ask somebody. I better put some respect on that nation. Matter of fact, do me a favor, you heard me? Go up top, hit the link in the bio. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. But if you really want to see me cut up, y'all come see me on TikTok. I'll probably be on that in the beanie weenie with your mama. Stop playing, man. Super litty with your guy, Mo Diddy. Put some respect on the city. Know the nation. Stand up. All the way up. Get on your damn tippy toes, man. Let's go. Yo. Whoa. We are back. back. We had to take back, a brief intermission, you heard me? Don't give a fuck how long we took. We Is back. Right? Shit. With Mo, Mo Diddy in the building. <laughs> Captain of the Crescent City. Couch right. talk, no. You heard me? You did. On some couch talk and die shit. Believe that. You now, we, you know, we're going to jump right back into yeah, it. Let's think know. about this military career. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? How did that change you? Um, man, it, listen, I, I think I went to jail long, I, I served more time in the military, like, locked up, like, so, like, you I, you went to jail in Mississippi? Man, that's what I'm saying, see, like, the military was fire, right, it just where I was stationed at, mm. you heard me, when, you know, uh, I hear people talk about racism ain't real or some shit, and, and you experienced boy, that shit out there, man, let me tell you something, you said Mississippi? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, shit. And y'all know that shit came like with parchment with the jail with all the pictures and mm -hmm. shit. Man, that shit been going on like that. That's how mm -hmm. it all, man, they do what they want to do out there. Mm -hmm. Gunline boss, gunline boss. Believe that shit. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and see me, I, I'm, uh, people don't know what to do with me. Like, you either you either love me or you hate me. Like, right. I ain't never had, you know, it's, I don't know. Well, I one guess. thing about it is, <coughs> I commend you because you don't give a fuck. That is, that's a fact. You don't give a fuck. Either like, it's, it, it is what it is. You don't have to like me. I'm me. See, but I think we, uh, just as New Orleans people, like, we got that shake back in our DNA. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to keep somebody from the N.O. down. Like, it's, but when I tell you we, we, like, literally have a target on our back out here, you know what I'm saying? Coming up, it lets you get a little success. Oh, shit. It's a fucking rap, Jack. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of New Orleans... Being from the ones, do you feel like we possess a type of, a, a sort of energy that nobody else in the world can duplicate? Come on, man. It's, it's, now, I'm going to keep it a hundo. New when Orleans they, when they the, was eating weed, It's the best state in the world. Damn. Bitch, we was eating gumbo. Come on now. Boom. They not fucking with... Right. They, man, look. Boom. They can't handle this. Anybody talking about man. that gumbo y'all be making? Mm -mm, no, 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 <laughs> no oh, man. You, you can't eat it nowhere. You can't eat shrimp. Man, lay it on. Shut that, man. Food. You know I eat chicken in my gumbo look. stupid. Look. Look. But I always trying to play on somebody. Look. What are you? What are you? Can't, can't eat seafood. Oh, he, oh. Why everybody think that gumbo got consistent seafood? Let's just get it got, got, He got to have seafood. That's what I'm saying. He, he gotta, it, it, you want it done right. Man. You got to have a little So you said chicken gumbo don't be wet. Why? And small sizes eat gumbo. And high sizes eat gumbo. Seafood me, please. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, on that yeah, yeah, downtown yeah. shit. Vegan I gumbo. I ain't gonna lie. If I was, if I was like allergic to shit like that, I would have to keep me some Benadryl. I would be oh, promoting come Benadryl. On, man. I would be promoting. Yes, indeed, man. 
Ain't no way. So you know I'll castle. tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go get the Epi Pen, but you gotta keep one of your purse too. <laughs> I'm gonna jug your stab, ass the stab fuck the out. me with the Epi Pen. That, that's what's just gonna have to happen. Hey, look, man. Uh, no. I wanna take a second to say thank y'all for what the oh. fuck y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think a lot of time, no hold on now. I think a lot of time, you know what I'm saying, people get to, you know, uh they get to a certain place, uh, even in their career, and it's like they got a cap on these shit. Uh y'all y'all is the exact opposite. It's like they ain't no cap, sky's the limit. Like when I I've I've seen the whole motherfucking grind, like uh y'all got this shit out the mud for real. If a motherfucker can't salute you, you heard me, then they some motherfucking haters. You dig what I'm talking about? Believe that well, shit. You ain't gonna stand for no ovation. You ain't gonna stand for my fucking ovation. I'm shit. fucking with that. You know what? I want to also come Appreciate back that, and man. thank you for believing in us since we started because you were one of the people who like, did. Yeah. People that didn't believe Real in talk. us, you overtook. And talk. you said, fuck that watch. Hey, so we, thank you. We were first like getting our mm -hmm. shit and yeah, he was he was the main one right mm -hmm. shouting us out mm -hmm. you know I, I appreciate that i think uh mm -hmm. that's kind of what we have to do though you know what i'm saying like a lot of time people i got somebody off of me uh with this iheart radio shit mm -hmm. i got a few things that i'm trying to make happen mm -hmm. a couple things with this corona shit had fucked me clean over you hear me uh oh, still at the end of the day yeah see, so other opportunities <laughs> have been popping mm -hmm. up but my thing is this though, like I um I I literally like uh I put myself in a position like we're talking about creating opportunities. Right. You know what I'm saying? To where like if nothing else, you know what I'm saying, at least uh you know, we could grow. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean support goes the distance, you know. How is your support system? How do you feel your support system is? Man, look, I uh I was talking about this shit today. But like at the end I mean Honestly, you think I this think, shit I, on point, man, or you look, think you can get a little bit more? Well, I'm, I gotta get to where, like, I, I'm not gonna say it, like, I gotta get a little more. I gotta right. get to, I mean, I got, right. I got some work to do. Mo did it, gotta get a little more. It ain't, it ain't nobody. I, I don't, definitely, I definitely don't feel like there's a such thing as too much support. Like, no fuck no. What the fuck? Nah. I, I was, listen, you ever, I know you done heard in the N.O. there's no support. You heard me? Mm -hmm. uh, ain't nobody business smart like everybody. Like ain't no we uneducated on the business side. Uh, I done heard buku of this shit. Now, how, well, how do you feel about people fucking saying that are uh, like a certain lane? Like a person say he's doing the clothing. Uh, that lane's oversaturated. That be people I feel. I feel like they mama oversaturated. <laughs> your mom, you know what I mean? <laughs> your mom oversaturated. Yeah, look, I feel like Shit. at the end of the day, uh, that's that's exactly what I was saying. Like, mm -hmm. ain't no cap on y'all, man. Don't let nobody, man, fuck what they talking about. I mean, fuck. Look how many loads of bread companies they got. They got all mm -hmm. these bread companies. They got all these two pages of shit. Come on, man. Everybody don't just use one specific thing. I mean, they got a lot of clothing mm -hmm. brands down here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And everybody eating off this shit. So if, if right. nothing else, you know what I try to do every day? Like, at least every day I try to reach out to at least three different, like, new people. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and tell them I'm fucking with them. I'm checking them out. Mm -hmm. I try to make it like, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I have to make it a habit. You heard me? Because at the end of the day, like, we can sit here and talk about ain't no support. And then you part of the problem if you ain't supporting and, you know, I mean, changing yeah, the motherfucking I mean, narrative. They got a lot of people talk about the shit, but they, uh, they won't share shit to save their fucking life no. or, or repost nothing, mm -hmm. you know. And then if they post in their story, they just do it. So when you saw it, then they had to delete that shit. Right. Right. They're never going to let the shit run the whole 24 hours. 24 hours. Like, how does, how, how does hurt you? Right. Well, what you screaming about nigga ain't supporting you. It's the you. same type of people who, uh, they they them crabs in a bucket. That's that mentality. I you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> at the end of the day, we we finna change that shit. You heard? Definitely. I mean, now with stuff, yeah. with you being in this industry and you know being in radio and having a big voice, how do you feel about people that criticize other individuals but just simply having their own opinion? People, do you feel like you should be entitled or you really give a fuck about what people think? I mean, it just depends on, like, if you attacking somebody personally mm -hmm. or if you, you know, because at the end of the day, I think everybody uh, should have, you know, be entitled to their opinion. Mm -hmm. If somebody, I, I feel like, honestly, I feel like if somebody got to sit there and, and, and 
like spend time speaking on somebody else shit, they ain't got nothing going on. Mm. You hear me? Like I learned a long time ago, everybody gonna have something to say whether you're doing good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Right. So whether so, you're doing what they want you to do yeah, or what uh, you want to do. They right. Have Somebody, if somebody's right. gonna always have something to say. So, mm -hmm. like, if you're in a, 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 a type of field, you gotta be prepared for that criticism or whatever. Or whether Absolutely. You, you know, whether you acting or doing skits or anything, somebody gonna say something. Absolutely. Some miserable motherfucker out there gonna say something. About something, now, absolutely. With misery, we gonna turn this back around and do something positive. Who the fuck is your top five radio personalities? Oh shit! You Damn, know, take, and uh, take your time, but hurry up. <laughs> yeah, take your time, but <laughs> hurry up. I ain't gonna tell you no lie, man. I like uh, somebody who I really like. Uh, I feel like they sleep on is mm -hmm. Angie Martinez. Yes. Oh yeah, that's yeah. legendary. Uh, legendary. Legendary. You heard? Yeah. I think uh, you know. She uh, dope. I, yeah. I, let's see. Um, I, I like. I, I don't know, man. Like I come up on this when it comes to this radio shit, man. Like Q ninety three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I was raised on. But uh, at the end of the day, like if I'm doing like overall shit, man. I I don't know, man. I have to, I have to, look. I'm gonna get back at you with that. I have to get back at us. Shout out Angie Martinez, <laughs> man. You heard me. What mm -hmm. differentiates uh, Angie? For you from everyone else, she uh she didn't uh what do you call this shit longevity? Mm. Oh, yeah. She mm -hmm. fucking she interviewed Tupac. Yes. She interviewed yeah. Pop Smoke. Like that. Look, just look at the range of people she didn't. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you if you could last, yeah, it's you. It ain't who you interviewing. It's you. You know what I'm saying? With that, speaking of that interview with Pop, she had um. A lot of stuff she could have released to blow up, and she didn't. She that's chose why, to respect. That's why I fuck with that. Yeah, like I love that that she chose to respect. Let me let me let me ask y'all something. You know what I'm saying? Cause I uh, I, I respect y'all opinion. Mm. And one thing I get asked all the time is like, who who is the hottest artist? Right? Mm. You ever get asked that shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, do y'all have an opinion on that? The hottest artist, like in the, down, city. In the now, city. I'll show you. Yeah. I ain't gonna need no Calvin doing his thing. Um, you fuck with that project, the uh, Magnolia Manson? I didn't need Man, check this shit out, man. It, boy, this shit bananas. Uh, we Junkie. There's so many hot ones, I don't even mm. wanna just name one. You can't. It's, uh, see, that's why I was saying on the show, they want me to, like, pick. You can't. And nah, it, you, got, you got, like, a lot of artists doing their thing down here. I mean, man, you got look. one guy, the Pusher, he doing his thing. Yes. Man, the Pusher. Push. 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 That boy dropping shit like booty. Chicks and toilet seats. You still got J. <laughs> J. Austin, you got uh, a fucking dog. Oh, Ricky, man. you got uh, Lady Dolly, you got Peaches, you, you got so many. Uh, you heard oh, me? Yeah. Elena Amazing, but fuck, we gonna come back with that yeah, list. We gonna get back. Yeah. We, we gonna take straight. a brief intermission. We gonna spin the bin. We gonna spin the bin. Yeah, you heard, you heard, swerve that bitch. You got swerve that hoe. Then you got a jock that yeah, hoe. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, you're on, you're on Frenchman Street right now. You got to put that bitch on. Yeah. I'm we be that. right back. You heard me? Back. Cows talk Nola. Again, you heard me? Shit, new drink. New drink. Fuck. It is. Man, so what we was talking about? We was talking about, we was talking about the, 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 the artists in the, in the yeah, city. Yeah, it's top like five radio. Yeah. Look, man, I'm telling you right now. Um, I'm about to get into some music, man. Fuck that. I'm about to start doing everything too, man. I'm looking at Perk, man. That's one thing about us in the NO, man. It ain't like we were talking about ain't no cap, man. Like I ain't gonna lie, if you fucking talented, go for that, man. Go for like don't. Short stop this shit, man. Worry I do, about. I do hate when people try to crush other people's dreams. So, if someone came to you and brought you something that you didn't feel like uh, was for for the you know the industry, would you feel like you would just tell them <coughs> don't stop? No, fuck no. I never right. tell so them not to shit stop. Down the park. I'm not, but I tell no them like, hey, like you, you know. I will keep it a hundo. Like I'm not like and I'ma add them too, like depending on who it is and like how thick they skin is and what they really asking me. If they just asking me to listen to it, I'll listen to it and be like, you know, 
I, I'm digging it. Keep doing what you're doing. But if they ask me for my motherfucking opinion, mm -hmm. you dig? Like, can this go on the radio? Or who, who, what do I need to... Like, you know, I've, I've, I do this for a living. So, like, I've been in them situations. You heard me? Do you feel yeah. like there's a lot of... Is too much opinion? Like, is there such thing as too much opinion? Because a lot of people can tell you, don't do this, don't do that. And it could have been a thing to fucking blow up because just because they didn't fuck see, with it. You know what I'm saying? See, that's that... You're right. That is the part. When you start telling somebody what to do and what not mm -hmm. to do, yeah, like then you get and you let people get in their own way and you get in their fuck all that. Your opinion should be your opinion, not mm -hmm. goddamn directions. Yeah, right. right. some people tell you that shit because they ain't had the balls to, to, to do, do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. right. you're saying, nah, I wouldn't fuck with it. Yeah. And, and my thing is, and I'm going to come up with it, my own little pool here, yeah, if, yeah. If, if, if it ain't if it's not for you today, that don't fucking mean it's for you tomorrow. It's not for you tomorrow. Right, because you, you have to trademark this shit. And your bad days. Copyright that. Take my yeah, shit. Yeah, look, you, it's come, we're going to pull up. You know what? It, it's a hit and miss. With, like, if you're an artist, sometimes you might make some shit that just don't stick. Mm -hmm. Come on, we came across some shit that we're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but, you know, but fuck, you, you, you do a better job the next time, so keep that shit. What was that, that movie with, um... The, when they first fell in love with hip hop, was it Brown? What was it called? Was oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. So, you heard the people, nobody, they wasn't fucking with yeah, their music, but they that. come on that, oh, it's mine, I bet they fucking was on the radio and blow it up. And yeah, that's your me. question. When you first fell in love with hip hop? Uh, to be honest with you, my daddy, man, like, my daddy put me on, I'm gonna tell you what really fucked me up. It's like my daddy, he made me watch um, movies, certain movies with him, like scary movies. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, he, uh, South Central uh, yes. was a movie he made me watch, you heard me? And, like, uh, yeah, so, like, I, I mean, that's just from the deuce up, you know what I mean? <laughs> just from fucking, uh, you know, the, the hip hop influence in those movies, like, I just picked it up. And, not to mention, like, come on now, uh, Cash Money, No Limit was like, so, I mean, like, you couldn't miss them, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I just, uh, I don't know, I've always been a fucking hip-hop fan. Right. So, now that you just now really coming into being open to listening to other music, because you were stuck into just Facts. Cash Money back in the G with right. you know, no, no Limit and the shit we came up on. Like, you Absolutely. Was I used to have issues with that shit, too. Yeah, like... <laughs> Like, when, I, I, no bullshit, like, people, would, you know, I was lit, like, I'm sorry, but, like, I was raised on this N.O. rap. Right, like, right. That's what so it was. So now you just now becoming to be open to, you know. The, you know how, I'm going to tell you, the first artist I got on outside, I knew artists. Like, I'm not fucking, mm -hmm. I'm not bozo, but right. at the end of the day, like, the first artist I, like, bought, purchased their album mm -hmm. was fucking T.I. Oh, yeah. And yes. it was, uh. So like yeah. yeah, but it, it was after I'm serious that the um trap music mm -hmm. BG was on that was, Yeah, and that's what made me uh. He really came fucking with the city though. Like he really Facts. came and started fucking with the city for real. Like I, I, I love. What are your top five Ti songs? Man, look, I think honestly, like, uh, man, Ti has got some fucking bangers. But uh, I like the one he wrote to his dad. What was it? Um, uh, don't hate me. Show no way about it. Um, yeah, it, it, it was a song uh, he dedicated to his mm -hmm. dad on trap music. Uh, probably like three or four songs off of trap music. But I fuck with Ti, man. Like it just depends on what mood I'm in. Cause uh, like at once I some shit for some different man, tip, shit. right? Like, you want your top laid back, right? You hear me? You want your beat down low? And Come then on, the, he said some things that you a lot of people were afraid street, to say don't too. Know me. Uh, with the shit when he was like, motherfucking, stand up. If you Ooh, don't like, yeah. <laughs> said it man, that, up. Come on, God, man. Slam that that track was so yeah. hard, bro. <laughs> that before, that before we start using big ass words. Yeah. Hey, I'm wondering yeah, where, where this T.I. came from, but I guess it comes from broke. Um, like, you yeah, know what absolutely. I'm Everybody yeah, like, broke. Doing my incarceration of <laughs> emancipation. <laughs> right. Due diligence. You oh should like do diligence. Hell? I ain't know. You be talking to T.I. looking through the book like, that's what you said. You said. You said. You said. You said. Yeah, so, um, do you, uh, how you feel about mental health? Like, how do you feel how big mental health plays a part? Oh, yeah. 
Man, we was on the show this morning. I'm super proud. Shout out to um, uh, Zoe with the Joe's podcast. Mm. Uh, uh, B Way, he's an artist coming up. Mm. Slim Morrison. There was a couple people who was on the live, and basically we was talking about uh, just addressing PTSD. You know, I, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. I see, I, I, I'm gonna say this shit just because like it's about it's. It's different now, like we starting to speak on it. You asking me this shit in an interview, right? Mm -hmm. So like at the end of the day, like that's that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Like cause it was so long for so long, man, like I'm thinking shit what? fucking normal. Yeah, we ain't talking about that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking you know, when somebody knock on the door, like I'm I, I, I my first instinct go get the strap. Right. Mm -hmm. You heard me like and a, a lot of people I don't know if they uh when they leave the house if they in fear for their life. You know what I'm saying? Or if they, you know, I just, I used to think that shit was normal. Right. All the paranoia, all that shit. I used to think it was just part of life. That shit is not nah, normal. Not. You got to get seen about it. You know how many people in New Orleans right now who got PTSD? See, because when they diagnosed me with PTSD mm -hmm. from going overseas and shit, I felt like I had that shit way before. You know what I'm saying? Just right, from, right, right. From, from coming up out sure. Now, how many cats you think depressed, got anxiety? You know what I'm saying? Uh, insomnia, probably fucking, uh, you know, all, all these other issues, but mainly PTSD and depression going untreated. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then... Uh, a lot of people try know. to self-heal, and they, it's not Come the on, right man. way to go. Right. Like, it's not. <laughs> it actually damages you more. Absolutely. A lot of people try to keep things... To, I, I was a victim of that. I used to keep stuff in and not talk. You're and bottle I it still, up. like, do and then it just... Explode. Yeah, and and, and half the time be on the people, up, people you know closer to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but like your family members, like like if this is if you going through depression, you can't talk to them. No, no yeah. So most of them be like, oh, oh, you ain't gonna be like, All right? Suck it up. My mom yeah. be like, suck it up. So a lot of people's families don't know that their individual family member are going through anything. Yeah, absolutely. Or any kind of depression because. They're afraid to tell them. Uh, they they already know how their family is. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that's serious too. Now, with with that being said, how do you feel like people should seek out help? Right. Do you believe in psychiatrists and all this? I I mean I like I was talking about self care. Uh -huh. I think there's a listen. I ain't never been, look. There's a God, uh -huh. and I feel like that should be your main focus. You know what I'm saying? Getting yourself together with God. Spiritually. Yeah, spiritually. Because I think once you do that, you know, once you could connect with, with, with a higher power, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Whatever you, it is. Yeah, Whatever it is. like how you, however you want to rock. But once once you can do that and connect, <coughs> it, 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 it changes you. Like it literally, you know what I'm saying? It, uh, it takes you outside of yourself mm -hmm. to the point to where you can, you know, to help you with control issues or mm -hmm. help you with anxiety. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, uh, it, it's something that holds you accountable. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I think once you start putting in the work, no matter what, you know, like I was saying the other day, if if, if you want to lose weight, you got to hit the gym. You got to do sit-ups, jumping mm -hmm. jacks, diet right. You know, if you want to get mentally straight, you got to, you know, you got to, you got to put in the work. Right. Uh, they, and they got, and I'm not talking about just getting full of fucking medicine. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Find somebody that you can relate to, talk to, uh, get you a Who therapist. Who well for you. Fucking right. Because a lot of people can not mean shit that won't the worst for you. You know what I'm I saying? Think, I think a lot of times people get therapy, a therapist and a psychiatrist confused. It's different. Mm -hmm. it's different. It's different. I, I tell any and everybody, man, get you a fire therapist mm -hmm. and go to therapy, man. A psychiatrist is going to give you his medicine. That's, that's, yeah, that's when they what, start. Bro, mm -hmm. Anything could be therapy, man. I mean, mm -hmm. like, yeah, what, absolutely. Like, what we doing? You know, this is our therapy. therapy. This is therapy you know for saying? me. You know? Absolutely. And you know, I love the fact that you get up on your page and you you uh fuck that. I know it's somebody out there. You and encourage people, bitch. Get up. Get <laughs> off your head. Do this. Get you you believe in energies, right? So absolutely. you you trying to spread positive energy out there in the world. Right. I, I commend you on that. Cause I mean, it's days that I look on your page and I got inspired. So I appreciate you know what I'm that. I appreciate you coming. If yeah, you yeah. were to leave this earth today, what would you like for the world to remember you by? Uh, just being, uh, you know, a good daddy. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. And uh, definitely the 
best dressed white boy in the city. Hands down, the freshest fucking cat. Yeah, come on now. What's in the white boots? Yeah, I do that to kind of like give you a little chance to be like, come on, man. When we get back from this commercial break, we gotta spend it there one more time because you gotta get that duck ass award. Yeah, you do. You gotta get that duck ass award. All right. Actually, what it was like growing up in your neighborhood. Did they give you that? Did he give you that kind of flack for being the only white dude in the neighborhood? Right, right, right. We gonna run that back. Spend it there one more time. Bring that shit back. You heard me? No, you, you still on Frenchman. You gotta come on. You gotta come <laughs> okay. We be back. Without the beat, it wouldn't be right. None of this cheese wouldn't seem right. My G's up to sleep right. Street life, help a nigga eat right. Eat with the fiends like. So you can holler back when you get your cheese right. And though it seems like a boy lives a king's life, there's much more to me than the bling bling ice. There's much more hidden, it, better boy slang fight. Too much of Mac in me, girl, a boy ain't right. I'm on the road, so you better get your bank right. You're kind of low, so you better get your change right. Because the mold, man, you boys can't even think right. I keep my gang tight, especially when it's game time. So come on, man. We we gotta, we gotta get the duck ass board out. You know, we we gotta pet it. Gotta pick up that duck. We gotta first place it in there, like so. It's a oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Want it in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get that duck ass on board out. Let me tell you. Look, first off, uh, what's up, niece? I don't like to get too political. You hear me? But uh, man, these mother, this fucking presidential race. You dig? Mm -hmm. I'm a hat man. Look, there's some people. Do you vote? Y'all vote? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Bro, okay. Bro, I, bro. I, I had. I had five. Okay. Because I, I I had a conversation the other day and it was like they not even voting with this shit. Man, I, I it would behoove y'all to vote for anybody other than motherfucking Trump. I'm you heard me? Too. Do your thing in that bitch. Just anybody other than Trump. I'm gonna go and get this bitch to Donald Duck. Now we're going. I tell you, damn Donald got so many ducks in this bitch, huh? Damn. All them bitches for Donald. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> he deserved them. You dig? At the end of the no, day, no, no, no. I can't remember. I'm talking about my stimulus now. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm just playing. You can't get that. Look at him looking like, come on. Man. I forgot. <laughs> man, look. AD. Don <laughs> man, <laughs> look. AD. Y'all know Donald be the fuck that shit up, too. AD. You know what I mean? You know, he, I think he, fit, he really did that shit to get people votes. Man, look. <laughs> I, I, the other day, man, he was on the fucking thing asking why his the person he uh, going against I can't remember the guy's name uh, why he um why his approval rating ain't as high as the other guy like bitch that's what you worried about he do you know shit what I'm saying why he be cutthroat like what? I don't see how he say all that shit on live TV and still in office like he be saying some shit you know? still got head even got though he out <laughs> that nigga, that nigga, yeah. Hey man, I wanna get this duck ass award to my motherfucking OG. You heard me? I'ma say this. I ain't gonna say your motherfucking name, but I, no, I love you. You gonna say his name? Nah, but that bitch getting old. And I'ma tell you something. <laughs> look, look, let me tell you something. Oh, I know that bitch, but look, he an old G. I'ma tell you, look, that bitch getting so old. The other day, man, like that, that bitch. I, he told me, hey man, I wanna check you out on Friday. Come to the crib, bitch. Make my phone match my computer. Mm. And I'm like. What, what are you what talking, talking about? about? He's like, I need, I need the social, the social media account. I said, okay. So he went to Facebook. He's making my phone, man. <laughs> man look, look, this bit, I, I said, well, look, I'm gonna set your little Facebook up, your little Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I said, look, I'm gonna take a picture, man. Let me take a profile picture. Why that bitch did this? What? Oh, that's, that's, that's the profile picture. Man. <laughs> From I the side. Boy, if you don't sit your old lady, I said, this a picture for your motherfucking <laughs> profile. <laughs> No, you told him to do a profile, bitch, <laughs> dog. Man. That's a fucking, that's a side. There's a profile man, side. Man, look. He gave that, the duck ass look, 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 look. That bitch, look. And he, he, he's getting old to the point to where he can't do normal shit. Like, without hurting himself. That bitch, <laughs> said, look, that bitch said he went to bed, uh, uh, ran out of breath, trying to take a nap. No. <laughs> oh, man, look. This for you, OG. Yeah, when you got that. Well, you know, your, your so. joints ain't the same, man. And that bitch said he, 
he blew out his knee for changing his mind. No. That bitch changes his knee. Oh, God. I said, man, he killing me with this shit. Hey, I can't what get mad because when nigga hit 30, all kind of shit was hurting. So, <laughs> hey, That's a it. fact, Jack. With you being, uh, you know, white. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I wasn't with you growing up. Yeah, I want to know that, like you know. And then how long did it take you to be black? Cause you are now. But well, see, like, like my mama would tell you, like my we, whole we traded, life. We 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 took you. We traded somebody. Yeah, else. we had the racial debate. We yeah, black oh, right. <laughs> Well, here, here's the deal. Like my um, I mean, I guess just by being around black folks and just you know. Raised in a yeah, like I mean, at the end of the day, my mama would always tell me though, like. That's my black child. Like he just, it, he's not going. If you put him in a group of people, like he's gonna find. It just we be into the same shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the only issue I had was when I went to Mississippi. You know what I'm you know, saying? It was a, it wasn't the same. That shit is totally different to over there. Like it's it's an uncomfortable feeling. Like yeah, yeah, that shit yeah. Is, yeah, no. At the end of the day, though, about I, over there. No, no, no. Fuck no. <laughs> oh, fuck. But they, but look, uh, fuck no. But they, they country out there. You hear me? But look, I, I met some of the, some of the coolest, pretty one of the most loving people. I'm talking about give you, the, you know, the shirt off their back. Mm -hmm. Right. But it just uh the the the, the, the segregation shit. I ain't with that. Yeah, because like, you were raised like that. Yeah. So. I mean, I just had my first white baby. Mm -hmm. You hear me? So, uh, so shout out baby Dev. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. You hear me? Uh, and you know, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, that's one thing that I, I take pride in to my kids. And I don't let them see no color, no none of that right, right, shit. Right, right, You hear me? Like, yeah. we don't, like, I think, uh, people, like, I don't know, like, you have to see, ask my mama. My mama will tell you. Like, mm -hmm. it, it just how I've always been, I've always been like this. I don't really think I ever changed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know when kids are young, they they don't see color, they don't see racism. It's what they're taught. Like it's, they gotta be taught that shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, like I see the little the little meme where you got the little the little white baby running to the little black baby and they hugging and all that. Mm -hmm. Like that shit no, should have been like video. that since the beginning with all of us. You know what I'm saying? That shit. And shout out to anybody who got mixed kids, man. Yeah, that's the that's the fucking role. I like that little way. What is there anything that you wanna do that you have not yet got to do? Um. Yeah, man. Build. Uh. Build the hub. Get the hub. The build with the building. You heard me. I want to build. Um. That you know. Put that building together for the youth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You heard me. Yes. I yes. want to have that spot for you know. Get out of school. You got good grades. Shit free. You get. You do this, that, and the third. Like everything free. But you know you. I'm just trying to put this shit together. I got a vision. You heard me. That's your long term goal. What's it? Yeah. No. Well. Your that's short term goals. Long term goals. What's yeah. your long term goal? I mean, to be honest with you, like, just keep my kids on point, right. get this bag, double up, triple up, uh, and just put my city on, Kevin, <coughs> represent us the, the right way, you know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like sometimes we get, uh, I, I think a lot of times we were represented kind of flimsy, like, mm -hmm. there's so much dope artists yeah. down there, so yeah. much yeah. talent, like, shit, yeah, like, like, like right. man, y'all tripping, like, we got that real down here, like, right. And so, yeah, and so, you know, me personally, I just want to make sure that they put some motherfucking respect on that, uh, on that city, you heard me? With, speaking of respect, I, I have a newfound respect for the WHIV. What you saying, yeah, the yeah, history, yeah, yeah, yeah. can you tell them yeah, about, really? yeah, about so, the history? Yeah, because you'll hear it, because look, anytime you hear it's people say, yeah, yeah, you see, uh, 102.3, FM WHIV. Mm -hmm. They as soon as you say that, people are like, wait, what? Yeah, because you know that's what exactly what we. <laughs> well, the WHIV is stand for We Honor Independent Voices. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, but the owner of the station is a doctor. Right, you hear me? He's the number one HIV doctor. You know, he's got the the, the uh, top clinic and like he's the number one HIV doctor in the, in the nation. So how important? That's that's amazing. How important do you feel it is that people get tested? No matter. Man, what? look, come on. At the end of the day, if you don't get tested, you 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 don't know. So like, I feel like no matter what, it, that's matter. knowledge. Knowledge mm -hmm. is power. Like you gotta know. You know what I mean? And, and to be honest with you, that's no matter what mental health, with with your mm -hmm. sexual health, with your finances, whatever. If we don't start addressing this mm -hmm. shit, you know what I mean? And like putting in the work. Man, look, it's just gonna be the same old shit. 
we definitely need to merge i feel like and um do a little testing thing get people right. to come out and test i'm down with getting tested because i know one thing mm. i'd rather know than to not fucking know and then it'd be too late absolutely um, People right. always say, well, I, I haven't been having sex. You haven't had sex today, bitch. <laughs> right. You've had sex before. So, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Absolutely. That shit later. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I didn't realize that HIV could actually lie dormant for 10 years. That's 10 crazy. years. And that's with all kind of these, like, Phyllis. That's, uh, yeah, I know her. You know? Uh, well, I don't uh, know her personally. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> just get that clear. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, syphilis and yeah. Yeah. Phyllis, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. A lot of people yeah. around here with Phyllis. Yeah, yeah. You know? I don't know at, Phyllis. At the end and of the day, and kind of my dollar too. I know. <laughs> kind of, mm -hmm. At yeah. the end of the day, man, take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, man, stay strapped, stay sanitized. You heard me? Right. Take care of yourself. You dig? And and you know what? Um, do you believe you believe in that universe too? Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. So that that means you believe in everything you hear you intake and you uh watch with your eyes that's important like you have to be careful of the things that you intake those three ways absolutely because that could really be a big thing on your life like what you're watching mm. you're feeding your body come on now what Bro. you're listening to you're feeding your body that's deep yo that's a fact that's though real deep, yeah. Yeah. Right. i think uh Man, give me these glasses. Fuck, we didn't land on Platinum Rock. Fuck. Platinum <laughs> Rock, land on there. Uh, yeah. mm, mm, these the infamous glasses yeah. I landed on. Right. You know, that you know you poor sister. <laughs> and therefore, we come as one. You heard me? One. You know? Shit. God damn it. So you know you got to invite us over there, right? Yeah, we're going we gonna to get this together, y'all. Uh, Can we like come said. to the 7 o'clock? Because... Look, 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 look. We're going to put this shit together. We're going to put something dope together. I ain't going to lie, like, we well, long over here. But when it's all said and done, <laughs> out on, on some real shit, like, man, I'm fucking with y'all. I love y'all. Uh, I'm a big fan. That's what's so dope. Mama, I'm on the motherfucking couch, you heard me? Yeah. 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 No luck or die, you yeah. yeah. And everybody else, go back the fuck back. Nah. No. If you ain't feeling that, <laughs> yeah. you heard me? Shit. God damn it. So you, we, we got to get this together. We appreciate you coming. And you know you got to come back because I know some other dope shit going to be after Corona. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So, you know what I'm God you damn it. That was Fuck, close us out. Fuck. Yo, you was watching the dopest episodic running NOLA show in fucking NOLA. I'm Couch really right talk boy. NOLA. You feel me? Now, fade that bitch on out. You heard me? Mm. Fuck. Fuck. Get the fuck. Fuck. And we out this bitch. Yeah. I'm finna sign this bitch. Sign it, sign, wow. sign this bitch. Sign. Shout out to Percy uh, HypeMagazine.com. He asked an, uh, an important question. He asked a question about uh, what do we look for in a, a artist, a newer artist coming up in the city. And uh, there's a few things, right? He gotta be dope, right? He's gotta be good at rapping. Understand that the game has changed. So sometimes, you know, just being able to hold, you know, a melody or, or, or think about Thugga Thugga, right? Young Thug, he ain't no lyricist. He uses voice like an instrument. If you're dope, if you're original, you have to be original. The thing that really stick out to me the most is that work ethic. Anybody can rap nowadays, right? Anybody can, can make music videos nowadays. What separate us? What make, what make you different, right? And, and it's hands down the way you work. Since it's such a content driven industry, I look for consistency. You gotta grind and put the work in. And you have to be willing to invest. You have to be willing to invest in yourself. And you know, sometimes people say you need a gimmick. I ain't with that, you hear me? I don't even agree with that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, that gimmick, that you can only go so far with a gimmick. Because once they get tired of your gimmick, it's a wrap. I think that the talent, the work ethic, uh, uh, all that, all that comes into play. So yeah, there's, there's, there's a few different things. Great question, by the way. Shout out to you.